what's up guys this is Ishwar from design world channel and today I am going to show you how we can apply some GD entities to the part body as well as I am going to also show you where we can use the term common zone modifier while applying GD entities so without any further delay let us get started So as you can see in this figure we have two part bodies and if you will consider the top view of this part you will get to know it has only one face. So we are using the concept tolerant normal zone sorry yeah and if you will see this second part body we can see it has three faces. So if you are going to neglect this face and if you consider these two top faces which having on a same plane and having a same height so anybody who is going to apply GD entities for these two faces he or she has to take two different datums for it to reduce the datums while applying GD entities we are going to use the term common zone so let me show you how we can reduce datums while applying GD entities where we can use the concept of common zone. So this is the part body and I have taken the front and side view of it. So we will going to apply GD entities for this two for this part body so same as usual we are going to take flatness and magnitude will be 0 0.5 and just right click go to symbol and we won't require any symbol as of now now we are going to take datums for this back face of this part body and here and move it at the center so we are, we have already taken our first datum now we are going to take our second datum before that we will give our tolerance to it and here we are going to use perpendicularity with a magnitude of 0 0.5 and datum will be a align it and match the property of this tolerance box and we will take our second atom that is V and now we are going to use the concept of common zone so here what we going to do is give one space and write cj that means this datum this b datum is going to represent this face as well as this face so from these two faces you can dimension to it and we need not to take any extra datum like c or d for this face so by representing the cj we are defining that this face and this face are common to each other each other and for better clarification sometime we are also going to write here common zone So anybody who is reading the drawing, they can easily understand that these two faces are common to each other and we can define dimension from any of these two faces. Now we are going to take our third datum. Before that we are giving tolerance box to it. And here we won't require CJ. 
references will be A and B and we are going to match the property of this one align it once done we are going to take our third datum that is C just right click and we want fill triangle and we are going to match this one now we will try to give the dimension for this part so for this we have taken the length value we have taken the height value and while doing drafting take one feature at a time so that once you complete the dimensioning of feature first then go for next feature now we will consider the second feature so we have defined the length value sorry the origin to the edge of that pocket and this is the length value and we have defined the height value and I think almost we are done now so just take a look whether we have given required dimension for this part or not so we have defined the length we have defined the height we have also defined the width value and we have also defined the length and the distance and the height value to this part so I think we are done now so by pressing shift key you can align these tolerances so this is how we can apply ZD and T's and we can use the concept of common zone while doing drafting and when we are using GD and T's to any part body so if you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you